Good afternoon, Bluebirds. I'm Chloe with Max delivering your announcements. Happy birthday to Vlad Hoyle, Vil William Oldages, Logan Weber, and Parker Madden. The HMS girls volleyball teams were heated in a heated battle last night with Summit View Academy. All three teams went to the third game with their opponent. The JV team fought hard, but they came up a little short in the end. The sixth grade and varsity team were able to pull out in the last game and earn a victory on the road. Next week, the teams have a tough schedule, so rest up and get ready to go to battle again next week. Good luck to the HMS cro cross country team who competes in the Mason Invitational tomorrow against some tough competition from Ohio. Remember that art club starts on Monday, math tutoring begins on Tuesday, and girl power meets on Wednesday. More information can be found in Schoology. Next week is a busy week for the clubs. Probably 90% of us use social media in some way. When we use social media like Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, we leave, we leave behind what is called a digital footprint. According to dictionary.com, a digital footprint is one's unique set of digital activities, actions, and communications that leave data tr trace on the, in the interior on a, co a computer or other digital devices and can identify the particular user or device. Let's watch this video for a better understanding. What is a digital footprint? A digital footprint is the information about a particular person that exists on the internet as a result of their online activity. When you go onto the internet and you leave stuff behind, it starts to create your digital footprint. When you comment on social media, make Skype calls, use apps, and email people, it all goes onto your online history and can potentially be seen by other people or tracked in a database. What you do can be seen by everyone, even by people you don't know. Colleges and workplaces tend to look at your records such as your digital footprint. Your digital footprint could make or break your future. It can be copied, it can be passed on, and it can be permanent. All these pieces make up your digital footprint. You are creating a digital footprint without even noticing. When you go on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Tumblr, Flickr, Amazon, and etc. You are creating a digital footprint. A digital footprint can have its pros and cons. Some of the pros are, a digital footprint can help locate criminals as well as finding evidence. It can help find missing people, and it can help stop crimes before they even start. Some of the cons are, strangers can access your location and places you visit, Internet hackers can access your personal information, for example, your banking passwords and credit card information. Watch what you post online. Your words and pictures can follow you for a long time. For lunch today, we will be having popcorn chicken and macaroni and cheese and steamed broccoli. The alternate is shrimp poppers. For lunch on Monday, we will be having three ways and edamame. The alternate is pepperoni pizza. Remember, you can also fix yourself a salad if you, if you would like, or add fresh fruit to your lunch. And now for today's quote of the day. Today's quote is, nothing will work unless you do. Have a great rest of the day, Bluebirds.